hi guys today we are making the famous ivorian meal here in ghana a check here i know a lot of you have been asking for this recipe so i finally did it you guys are going to love it trust me let's get started so we use cassava to make a check here. so this is our cassava or banshi as Ghanaians call it now you're going to peel your cassava and this is what we have now cut your cassava into smaller sizes you can cut it into very tiny sizes because they're going to blend it okay so anyhow you want to cut it now i'm going to take off the lining in the cassava and go ahead and cut them into smaller sizes let me just say this this is not my specialty so don't come for me but yeah i'm trying this recipe and i hope it goes well now this is my bunch that i have cut into smaller sizes and i'm going to wash them to take out any impurity from our bunch because we want a very very clean bunch for our acheke okay because it's like a processed meal so you want it to be very clean now i've washed my bunch and we are good to go now you're going to transfer this into your blender because i'm going to blend the acheke or the banshee with some water okay so what i learned from this recipe was that the ivorians they normally cook some of the banshee eh, and ferment it for about two to three days and then after those days they are going to blend that with this method that i'm doing okay so it's going to be like be two different banshee or cassava that they have processed so you're going to blend this and this is what we have okay blend it into a very fine puree and this is what you have now line your bowl with your cheesecloth and pour the blended puree or the cassava puree into it okay i'm going to squeeze the water out of it because you don't want any water in your banche okay you want it to be as dry as possible okay you don't want it to be moist for this recipe so make sure you use all the energy you have in this world to squeeze the water out of it okay just like i'm doing you can use a cheesecloth to do it you can use a dry napkin to do this you can also use a plain cloth to do this now please know we're going to ferment this for a day or two days i just did one day fermentation so you're going to let this sit for a day and you're going to continue the next day now this is day two of my recipe and i am taking out my banshee that i have left to ferment it didn't really ferment much but then next time i'm going to do three days fermentation and see how that goes but it went well and this is what we have okay i just wanted it to look this way and i got the perfect processed banshee now get your sieve and grate it into your bowl because you want it into smaller particles like the acheke is okay so you're going to just go ahead and just grate it like this okay make sure you take out everything from their sieve into the bowl making a shake is quite stressful but i know that a determined person would definitely do it now this is what we have after grating everything and you have these fine particles just like this the difference between a shake and gari is that one is dried one is wet okay a shake, you cook it gari you don't cook gari now you can see me trying to mix this into like round balls like the acheke has you know the acheke particles they are bigger in sizes okay so just you know line it into a plate or anything a tray or anything like this some people leave theirs in the sun to drop a little bit but mine i couldn't do that because it was raining so i had to leave it in the oven okay so that it will like kind of drop a bit so you can do just that now i'm going to make a little sauce for our acheke you know people normally add maggi cube to it and i just wanted to you know go out of the way and do something different so i added in some oil i added in my vegetables and i added in the maggi cube to this okay so i'm going to instead of adding the maggi i'm going to pour this directly into our acheke now let's make our acheke Okay. you're going to heat up some water don't let the water be too hot or too warm as well add in your colander and you're going to line it with a liner or your cheesecloth or a tissue paper and then just add in your acheke particles or whatever you guys want to call it to it okay this method is to prevent the acheke from entering directly into the water okay so you're gonna add a lot of it to it my mistake when i was doing this i added a little bit of the acheke to it and i cooked it 
but i realized that it took time to cook so i added more of that check it off camera because i wanted it to cook well okay so i couldn't shoot that so just do that when you're making your recipe okay so this was the result and it came out so nice i was so happy oh my god you can also bleach some palm oil and add it to the achike before cooking it it gives it a very very nice color okay now you see the mix that we did earlier i added that to my achike and i gave it a good mix and my achike is ready you can serve this with your tilapia, some plantain, some vegetables, your hot pepper sauce, and enjoy yourself, guys. I hope you will try this recipe. It's not easy, but I know you guys can do it. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and share my videos. Bye!